microphone troubles. So with that, I'm going to put the mic over here somewhere so it'll record on its own and maybe it'll work. Um, what I'm doing now is I have a small tour of you, well, basic commentary. I picked up these things. <clears throat> they are Irwin Speedboard drill bits. They're not really part of my channel, but uh, not a, I'm not really doing a drill bit video, but I just wanted to say I paid $14.99 at Lowe's in the U.S. <coughs> and in Canada, these things are like, I, I, the cheapest I've seen them for a single drill bit was 10 bucks. And the bigger they get, like the smallest one was 10 bucks. And the bit, and then they start going from like 13 to 14 bucks. So for the price of three, I could probably buy one drill bit in Canada if I'm lucky at the taxes so that's why i bought them just to show you some of the not everything in canada is a ripoff but a lot of things are like a lot of things like i just watched a lady on a tiktok video who bought carrots somewhere in ontario or somewhere i don't think it was ontario she bought a bag of carrots for three bucks that are grown in ontario and then this other tiktok lady had the same bag of carrots that was shipped to the u.s and she paid 83 cents or vice versa anyway but they did a little duet thing i'm like the lady's like, somebody must have lost money selling the carrots for 86 cents. In this case, Canada gets ripped off. But even online, there was a six pack of these for like 20 bucks. Either six or a four pack. And even the, uh, I bought a can of um, crack and gap filler for windows and doors. They're probably $20 a can here. If a minimum $18 plus tax, comes to about 20 Went to Lowe's, I bought four cans. Four cans for, they were on sale too. They were three eighty nine a can, three dollars and eighty or forty nine cents. I did a little um, video with the prices on there, but they were less than four bucks for a can. For the price of the four cans here, I could have bought sixteen cans in the U.S. Well, that included the exchange and the tax, and it came out to less than. It was less than twenty bucks for four cans, and they're a little bit smaller. But I'm like, even if they're a little bit smaller, and I bought two to make up for just a little bit more that they don't put in them, it's still cheaper. The other thing that's not any cheaper, which is even electrical is weird. <coughs> the breakers are uh, like the by standard 15 amp Siemens breakers, and they're uh, 14.99 here, maybe 13 bucks. If I buy them over the border, they are uh, seven dollars. Last time I checked, they were seven dollars and 29 cents. And when I get you get a 10 percent VA discount, they're like six dollars and whatever. I'm like, yeah, okay. So I bought a few over there. The electrical cable biter, on the other hand, the regular 14-2 wire versus the f armored 14-2 wire. <clears throat> the armored cable is cheaper in the U.S. The regular cable is the same price. So, I don't know. And I even uh, was on Amazon looking at other stuff, and I was just like, what in the hell is going on here? I can't see how many minutes this thing's on. Okay, yeah. It's always a little minute timer. I was in a white spot back up here. I can't see it on here, so... So anyway, I got these. I'm not going to open them because i got to bring them back. I'm, uh, <coughs> I'm using the drill holes for studs to run wires. I did pick up a... Um, where is that little thing? Another little item. Which is not very big. This is a... These are unlabeled. They are metric socket head screws. I don't know if you can see that. Got a whole bag. They are for the... Um, What's that thing over there? Sandblaster. I'm gonna see if they fit in the holes. I think they're M3. And I bought an M3. I think. Gonna see if the M3s fit. I'm also ordering on Amazon a whole box of M3, M4, M5, M6 different cap screws. I want to put cap screws in there if they work. So that I got a few just to try. I also I'm gonna make this a a running tool video. Um, I also picked up this because. Why not? I've seen this little thing, and I'm, I think lately I'm just obsessed with tools in little boxes. I don't know what the hell this is for. Mind you, I, I do know what it's for. I don't know I, I don't know what I'd really use it for, but I thought it was cute. Got another Viha Tools. I don't know if it's pronounced Viha or Weha or Weha. So is it Weha? Is it a Western thing? Weha. Right up, cowboy. Anyway, I got this thing. It's uh, Weha Tools. They are made in... It's a Gold Box Impact Set. It is made in Vietnam. So, hopefully, they're not made in a tunnel. So, it says, uh, 
It has Phillips, 1, 2, and 3, 2 each square, 1 and 2, Torx, T10, T15, T20, T25. Anyway, read the back. It'll tell you what's in it. Um, I will open it up with my super duper, what do you call it, Dewalt letter opener. You all know what that is. Everyone is, do, in, like I keep saying, in true internet fashion, I will use my ultimate Dewalt letter opener. I'll show you here. Let me move this over more. There we go. We'll cut it open without destroying it, hopefully. So, Whee! There we go. I think I did it. That always stinks. There we go. It's a little itty bitty. I already fell out of the plastic. Comes in a. Wait, is that metal? Oh, that's cool. I thought it was plastic. That's really cool. How does this go in there? I'll put it in here so I'll show you. Let me, uh, put this out of the way. Let me lower this. This is, uh, believe it or not, that's a metal case. That is so cool. Since when do companies still use metal cases? It's got this really cool miniature. Look at this thing. It's so cute. It's like super mini. It's got the little Viha bit here. Goes in there. Uh, this this is like cool as hell. It's almost like the um, where's the other one? It's almost like like this. It's almost like this little baby shark. Do 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 do. This craftsman little tool. It's same size. But to be fair, this one's fatter. It's got the fatty on it. Comes with the little end there. I'm not going to review the Crestman, but this is... Comes with all these, uh, what does it say on the bit? Too? Um, impact bit set. It says, uh, hmm. Terminator Blue Impact Bits. Anybody know what the hell Terminator Blue means? They spit in there nice. It's, a, it's nicely made. I guess I can just... I don't know what the hell I'd use it for, but it is nice. It's this opens up. I guess you can repair it. it says Weeha, Weeha. There's the front and the back. Here's the little clickety click here. Goes in and basically, I'll just turn around and thing. Not bad. This goes in like so. I'll show you the bits in a second here goes in there like that. Here's the little... Let me turn the light off. It's a metal case. It just clicks closed and that is so cool. I thought, I swore it was plastic. I literally thought this thing would have been plastic. But even the inside's got a, I don't know, like a huge, like... See, see the, this part? It's like a thick rubber. Let me take this out here. See? Oh, something's gonna fall out. It's a very, very nice. Look at that. I guess it's in. I, I'm guessing I'll do this. I'm guessing it's injection molded or whatever kind of thing is. But it's got a really nice feel to it. it sits in there. That goes in like so. And just this way that way. I guess it goes this way. Nice little tool, see? It says we are. Of course, I put it in wrong, I think. Yeah, I should probably go in this side. Let's put it back in the other side. So, which way it opens. Sits in there and says we haw on it, which is really cool. That is neat. That is really. That is really cool. So, yeah, that is. I never. It's got a nice, like. I don't know. What, I don't know what kind of finish that is. It's um, a rough, certain be um, almost like a, what do you call it? Hammer tone finish, but it's it feels gritty. It's like a grayish. Like there's a you know what I kind of use for um, what the heck is it? You know when you paint porches, you put a little sand in it. It feels like it's got like I can almost file my nails with it. Just 
So let me turn this off. That is really cool, though. That is really cool. I, I did not expect that. That's pretty much it for new tools. The other tool I'm going to do... You know what? I'm just doing this video, too. This uh, the other tool I got is sitting right here. This one was a freebie. Can't say from who, but it's got the quick disconnect, which this comes off. What is this? This is a pain in my ass right now, because now it's pulling me as a liar. This goes in like that, pops in there, and goes like that. This is a oscillating tool, a DeWalt DCS354 cordless oscillating multi-tool. Do I have a use for this? Oh, damn right I do. Damn straight I have a use for this. What am I planning to use it for? I have a little edging that i got to cut in my house for, uh, what do you call it? Works good, this thing. It's got a light on it. Yeah, light on the bottom there. It's got a weird noise. It is, it always, I'm guessing there's a handle that goes on here. Oh no, it's not a handle, that's just a, yeah, there's a, there's a threaded thing in here and a threaded thing in here. So I'm guessing somewhere there's a place to put stuff on it. There's no little hanger thing that goes like this on here, is there? There is no place to put a belt clip on here, unless that is the belt thing. This was just bare tool, so I guess I didn't get no options. There's um, the parts to put this on the top. And I, that's it, really. There's not much. There's the little, this is the quick connect. And this is, so you just pull this and insert in there like that. And you can, I'm guessing you can turn it sideways too. There you go, see? Do it that way. And it's not too easy. It's, I mean, you gotta get used to it. Yeah, it does a full spectrum of turning there. There you go. Oh. Now, does it work? <clears throat> does it actually do stuff? This is one of the blades. It came with two blades, so my ears itch here. So, yeah, let's see if it works. Oh. <laughs> This is my new tool. That's cool. Anyway, enough dust. What's my uh, critique about this? It's cordless. Does every homeowner need this? No. Is it worth buying? Oh, hell yeah. You can use it for all kinds of stuff. This is one of those things that I have a corded one. I don't know where it is. I know I need it, but there's a little tiny ledge. I got to do some tile, and there's a little tiny spot about this high. I got to cut off all on the floor, and this is what's going to be using it. So, this will get a lot of use. I have uh, some tiling to do. Am I making tiling videos? No. I'm not going to be making any tiling videos. Why? Because there's enough tile videos online to. I, I'm not a tile expert. So yeah, this is really cool. I wonder if I can have a toothbrush attachment I can brush my teeth. Put out the blade, just the toothbrush. Yeah, it can go like this, tie it on there and see how it works. Also, I can see if it cuts the toothbrush. See? Watch this. There. There we go. Right. Perfect. Chop, chop. So, anyway, that's the end of my corny video. I hope you like my channel. I don't always have useful information. I don't really care. I like to just do what I want. And thanks to Arco at Outlaw Edge Customs. Yeah, he's the one who got me addicted to making YouTube videos. And I'm just having fun. So stay tuned, like, subscribe. You don't have to uh, love my videos. But if you leave a comment, click like. It helps them in the algorithm. It helps me out. And I'm sure you've heard that in every single video you've ever watched on YouTube, if you already got this far. So, thank you for watching. 
click some buttons and stay tuned. I got more videos.